by 180 in the upward direction. So, I will get a graph like this one. It will start from point 1. The next thing is y is equal to mod of x mod of x minus 1. So, in this case, we we'll get the same graph, but it will be get shifted in the right hand side direction. So, we will start from this particular point. And there it is x is equal to 1. And the last part, the fifth one, y is equal to mod of x plus 1. So, when I am plotting the graph of y equal to x plus 1, okay, the v set figure, it will be shifted by 1 unit in the left hand side. So, it will start from minus 1. So, these are the I like these are the 5 standard graph of the mod function which must be discussed in every class here. Because if we are able to plot the graph of these 5 equations, uh, we can easily find out the maxima or the minima of any functions related with the modulus part. No. Uh, if you are discussing modulus equation, so here also you can discuss the maxima and minima of the modulus equation. For example, if I say y is equal to mod of x plus mod of x minus 1. And we are supposed to find out what is the maximum or minimum value of y. Maximum or minimum value of y. So, right now we have discussed how to plot the graph of mod of x also individually the mod of x minus 1. But here these two function has been added. So, in this case also uh, the simplest way for finding the maximum or the minimum value of this equation is, okay, here my critical points are nothing but that is 0 and 1. So, on a number line or on a real axis plot these points that is 0 and 1. Let us say this is 1. Now, put here x equal to 1 in this equation. Okay. So, let us say if I write down what are the values which are getting x and y. When I put x equal to 1, this particular point, I will get the value of y as mod of 1 plus 0, I will get the value of y as 1 itself. When I go for the higher values of x, which is more than 1, let us say 2. If I put x equal to 2, I will get the value of y as mod of 2 plus mod of 2 minus 1 which is equal to 3. So, if you observe here that when I increase the value of x beyond 1, the value of y is also increasing. So, it means can I say that after x equal to 1, this graph is nothing but this is an increasing function. So, at x equal to 1, y is 1. So, let us say if I say this is y is equal to 1, x equal to 1, this is the point. And beyond 1, both the values are increasing. So, my graph will be like this one, beyond 1. Now, my next critical point is 0. So, if the next critical point is 0, put here x equal to 0. <coughs> now, once I put x equal to 0, I get the value of y as nothing but 1. So, when x is 0, y is 1, I am getting this particular point. Okay. Join these two. So, between these two, it will be a straight line. And after that, take any value which is smaller than 0. So, when I take any smaller value less than 0, let us say that is equal to minus 1. When I put x equal to minus 1, I will get the value of y which will be comes out to be 3. So, x equal to at x equal to minus 1 will get in this point roughly around 3. So, this is the like this one. So, this is the graph of y equal to mod of x plus mod of x minus 1. And the, when the graph is like this one, so, if you observe here, as far as the maximum is concerned, maximum can be infinity, but the minimum is nothing but minimum is this straight line. 
you get this straight line and this at this straight line is nothing but here the value of y equal to 1. So, we can say here that the maximum value of y maximum is infinity okay. and the minimum value of this function is nothing but which is equal to minus 1 not minus 1 but plus 1 minimum value is equal to plus 1 when x is lying between 0 and 1. So, minimum value of this expression is 1 when the value of x is lying between 0 and 1. And again the most important thing is that uh, once you explain this one, take care. So, after that it is not necessary to plot actually the graph because if you look at here the number of terms are 2. Take care. Now, what will happen if the number of terms are 4 or the number of terms are 6 or I can say if the number of terms are even. Okay. So, we'll just generalize the case. For example, instead of this one, if the function is like this one, y is equal to mod of x plus mod of x minus 5 plus mod of x minus 10 plus mod of x minus 18. Now, again when the number of terms are even, 4 terms are there. So, always remember, uh, whenever the number of terms are even, take care, the maximum will be of course definitely infinity, it will be upward, but the minimum value will always exist between the medians. Because if I look at here, the critical points are 0, 5, 10 and 18. Take care, that is 0, 5, 10 and 18. So, the minimum value of y minimum value of y will always exist when x is lying between 5 and 10. So, put any value of x between 5 and 10 in this equation, you can find out what is the minimum value here. So, for example, even if I put 5, I will get the minimum value is nothing but that is 5 plus 0 plus 5 plus 13 which is equal to 23. And I said you need to put the any values between 5 and 10. Even if you put 6, okay, if I put 6, I will get that is 6 plus 1 plus 6 minus 10 that is 4 and 6 minus 18 that is 12. Okay. So, that is also equal to 23. Okay. So, always remember that whenever the number of terms are even, okay, you will get a, a complete range in which the minimum value of the function will exist if the number of terms are even. Okay. So, and if I need to plot the graph, straight away the graph is something like this one. I will say the critical points are 0, 5, 10 and 18. So, in this case my graph will be like this one. After 18 it is something like this one. Between 18 and 10.